Well, this is the trade site stocks, US yeah, stocks market preview for Wednesday, the 14th of March 2018. I hope you had a good trading session. Here's a look at the ES from a futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. Uh, we obviously slipped back a bit after being higher earlier in the session. Let's take a look at all the major indices on the daily charts, then we'll look at the intraday action, and then we'll talk about the economic data that's coming out on. Wednesday here as we enter the middle of the week. So crude oil up 17 cents to 60.87, gold down three dollars and ninety cents, S&P cash index down 17.70, the NDX and Nasdaq 100 down 84.61. That's a big engulfing candle, by the way, on the downside after gapping up. You'll see what that looks like intraday. The SOX down 22.44, biotechs down 25.22, the VIX gains 57 cents. Only the 16.35, the trend's at 1.47. The 10-day moving average does drop to 1.14 because we took that big number over up by 2.25 off. And we're going to lose another big number tomorrow, too. The NASDAQ line was 2.4 billion shares by the close or after the close. The advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ was uh, negative 455. On the New York, negative 546. Google loses $26.02. Apple down 175. Remember, all the big ones now down instead of up like they were yesterday. Amazon down 10.21. Netflix down 5.42. Tesla loses $3.67. TLT, the 20-year bond ETF, gains 60 cents. Goldman Sachs down 4.85. So breaking down from making new closing highs just the other day. So overall, not a pretty day, even though it started out with a gap up. Here's a look at the ES from a futures contract. So you can see we gapped up. The first hour was really boring. We finally came back and filled the gap, and then we headed into lunch, bounced around a bit, sold off in the afternoon. NASDAQ side, um, not much different. Pretty much looks about the same. So there's nothing really to talk about there. And it is what it is. Um, all right, so... What, uh, what do we look at for tomorrow? On Wednesday, we've got retail sales an hour before the bell with PPI. Business inventory is 30 minutes in. Crude oil inventory is an hour in. Doesn't really do much for us. Nothing to talk about there. Again, more of a negative day. I mean, big sell-off. The patterns weren't really there to make a lot of calls, but you know, we could still see some better action.